Hi guys, this is Mr. E143. So, in this video, we are going to have the Kolmogorov using SPSS. Okay, so, para mas madali natin maintindihan, let's do this example. So, we have here uh, the weights of the 36 newborn babies in kilogram from a hospital in Philippines are reported as below. So, that's the null hypothesis that the population of weights are normally distributed. So, our null hypothesis uh, for this uh, certain problem, so the sampled population is normally distributed. Okay, so, uh, by the way, our uh, data uh, about this or uh, ang ating mga data dito ay already in our SPSS. Okay, so punta tayo dito sa SPSS. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa ating SPSS. So, ito yung mga data natin, the weights of the babies, 36 babies, which is in kilogram in, uh, in Philippines, the hospital in Philippines. Okay, so, our variable view, we have the weights and the measure, we have the ordinal. Okay, so hindi na natin alis itong decimal kasi uh, meron siyang uh, point something ang ating data. So, punta tayo dito sa ating data view. Itong ating data view natin. And then, go to analyze. And then, non-parametric. Legacy and one sample KS. Okay, so click that. Click natin yan. Ayan, so ito yung nakikita natin We have uh, The weight So lipat na dito sa task variable list Okay So dito sa exact Wala na tayong ayos dyan Continue Sa option Okay, pwede nating Descript, pwede tayong uh, I-click natin itong descriptive At saka quartals uh, Make sure uh, Exclude cases test by test Okay so, pwede rin hindi na. By the way, ang kasi ang uh, alamin na natin kung ang data ay nasa, ang sample population is normally distributed. Okay? So, X natin yan. And then, make sure the test distribution. By the way, our test distribution is apat. We have the normal, the Python, uniform, and exponential. So, since uh, alamin natin kung normally distributed ba ang ating data, Punta tayo dito or i-check natin itong normal and then click OK. Okay? Then, just wait for the result. Okay, so the end for test, we have the one sample Kolmogorov's Mirno test. So, our end, the sample size is 36. And then, normal parameters, we have the mean and the standard deviation, we have 3.5. 0017 our mean and of course ang ating standard deviation is 0.35036 okay so our most extreme differences so meron tayong absolute na 0.101 or the equal and another extreme differences with the positive 0.056 and the most extreme different uh, negative negative 0.104 okay so our level of significance okay the level of significance is point zero uh, or point or zero point eight three three so as we observe uh, since uh, the p value or the level of significance is greater than the p value which is the zero point zero five therefore okay automatic ang ating and sample population is normally distributed. So, accept the null hypothesis. So, our null hypothesis, the sample population is normally distributed. Okay? So, that's it. 